let's talk 2021, your first few months in office. Can you just describe the year overall for you? Well, the first, uh, first I got to say is uh, my, I got me a new police chief and he's doing great. I got me a new uh, financial advisor, Angela Williams, and she's doing good. Got me a new CAO, and I'm getting all my people in place right now where we're starting, we've been here six months and we're starting to work together and it's getting smooth. And so if you could describe 2021 in like one word, what would that be? A lot of work. I mean, a lot of getting stuff together. Uh, you know, just getting to know everybody and getting where people work together it is so much smoother now than it was when we first started off. Can you talk about those first uh, few months where like there, I wouldn't say there was tension between you and the city council. It was just one of those things where like you guys had to sit down and have those conversations and talk. Well, what it was, when I first started here, I was kind of like doing like three or four different jobs. I had, of course I was doing the mayor, then I had to do my CAO work too. And the PIO, she was, you know, she was, she got sick and everybody needs to still keep you know Tracy Ponder in their, their prayers but uh and I was signing like 150 sheets of paper a day on different documents and that was that was con time consuming there but it was not uh I mean, we, me and the city council were, really didn't really fight it was just getting different ideas together and working together and just between us how is Tracy doing Tracy, uh, she's back home right now. Uh, she's been home now, I guess, about three weeks. And uh, she's, she's improving a little bit. Then, um, but let's talk about, uh, recently it was announced that uh, the police chief would be retiring. Can you talk to me about uh, what's next for the police department? Well, I, and I, I want to appreciate Shane McWilliams, what all he did, because he was here for 29 years. He did a lot for the city, and he worked hard, and he was, he retired, and now we have uh, a, a substitute chief. I'm looking for a chief to put in. I have you know I have a one that is called a interim. Interim, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, you know he's he's working out. He's to tell you the truth. He's at, at a school now for three days to learn some more things about you know how to guide police and all that. Uh, it's. The police department is strong. The police and the fire department. I, I'm so great on our. I'm so happy for all our, you know, safety people in the city. The fire is great. Brad, you know, Brad Zagone has got his group of people, and they're really good. And then now Chris is leading the the police department, and he's doing really good with that. All all our police are doing great, in fire. With interim chief Estes, has he um, talked about potentially um, trying to fill that role permanently? He is going to take the he is going to take the test and uh, and hopefully you know he, he will, I know he'll pass and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. And tomorrow there is going to be a special meeting um, to discuss Sportran potentially um, expanding into South Bossier. Um, can you talk about um, the updates with that? Have you guys talked to them ahead of this meeting? No, ma'am. Uh, and to tell you the truth, I only talked to him about thirty minutes on the on the first time I met him. And that's all we talk. So it was not nothing from way back talking or nothing like that. And tomorrow's going to be a workshop, and I get to talk to. I haven't talked to him since. And uh, speaking with Council President Don Williams, he says speaking with residents of South Bossier, it's not something that they need or want down there. Have you heard the same sentiment from South Bossier residents? Basically, yes, ma'am. I have too. I mean, there. There's really not that many people who really ride the bus anymore. Uh, even our city attorney, he rode the bus the other day, and he said he rode only had like two or three people on the bus with him in an hour and a half ride. What do you see the future of, um, or how do you see the future of sports in Bossier City? Uh, I guess we need to sit down and talk with the council members and find out which way we want to go and what's best for Bossier City. I mean. That's a lot of money we pay for just a few people to ride. And let's talk economic development. There have been several res residents who say that they would like to see things more in the north and south parts of the city. Can you talk about maybe some of the plans you guys have in motion for this year? Well, first of all, I got the carriageway is going to help help make the north and south a whole lot easier to travel through. That's you know that's 
uh, get the, so we're going to be working on the bridge here pretty soon. So it's not going to be done this year. It's going to be over into the you know next year. That's going to help out South and Bossier, North Bossier. Uh, we got a lot of things going down the East Bank. East Bank's got some you know there's some things I can't even talk about, but that's going to open up down there and it's going to make that East Bank. I want to give uh, in a peanut and bow. I want to talk about the Bojacks down there. They have done a really great job down there. They've really expanded. They are the heart. They are the soul of, of East Bank. And they have really, not saying, well, Little Tano and all of them are great. And uh, Flying Heart, they've all done a great job down there. Uh, also, uh, down in South Bossier, there's going to be some more restaurants built down there this year. I know for a fact that's going to happen. And, it, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be breaking ground here real soon. Uh, hopefully some more ideas are going to happen around uh, Brookshire Grocer. I want to talk like you know Brad, you know Brad Brookshire and uh, always done with Brookshire's that you know the grocery store up at North, and then also he has the Brookshire Grocery Arena that he's you know he supplies in stuff for. Uh, he's doing really great down there too, and a lot of the different shows. The volleyball is going to happen again at Brookshire's Grocery Arena. Uh, North Bossier is growing. We're it's going and big, you know, and it's, uh, there's uh, so much stuff's going now, we need, we need some more houses. And uh, there's another 500 houses that can be built in South Bossier. So really, when I, when I really don't classify it North and South Bossier, I classify it all Bossier, because Bossier is Bossier, and I, you know, I don't, I, don't, I mean, not a North and South, it's, it's all Bossier to me. And so this year we can expect announcements for um, the East Bank to expand as well as things expanding down into South Bossier. Oh yes, yeah, so they've already uh, they've already released the Red River Brewery is going to be going down in East Bank, but there's some other things that we're we're looking at now on how to use the both the best we can with that property to make it the best. And um, are there any other big projects that you guys are hoping to accomplish in 2022? Well, LTRI is going to be opening in May, I believe, is when it's supposed to uh, open up. And uh, well, Louisiana Downs, I know that's, that's, that's a, you know, Louisiana Downs has got a new owner and he's going to make it Kevin Preston and he's going to put a lot of big money in that and make that into like a, I guess like a hot springs kind of, you know, theme type. And he's going to have a lot of things going there too. Tinsley Baseball Park. I want Tinsley Baseball Park, the ribbon cutting will be January 29th. So that'll be complete. We'll be ready for all the, the teams to start playing in February. Uh, a lot of travel ball coming for that. That's going to be awesome too. And not only that, I want to travel ball in a lot of other different, you know, sports, soccer, pickleball, you know, just everything. Can you talk to me about the latest with Diamond Jacks? Diamond Jacks, we're uh, in the process, hopefully, and that's going to be opening up. They're, they're working with it now. Uh, I would like to see it back open again. I'd like to see us be able to to use that and get you know making money out of that and and getting that thing back to going. But yes, they're they're working on trying to get it to go. Awesome. And then, what do you want residents to know going into 2022? 2022, 2022 is uh, a Boulder City should feel safer. There's a lot more things. There's and we're going. Another thing is we are working on cleaning these streets. Now I know it don't look like what we we clean them and it's and I hope that people will not you know be more considerate with their trash and nothing that comes out of their cars and trucks, but we are working on we got a new we got a new street sweeper coming on. Wade Rich has done a great job since he's been on board with that department, and we're slowly but surely cleaning the streets. I twenty the bid got thrown out on it. We started cleaning on I twenty at one time. Hopefully we'll get back on that and the bids come up on that again and I'm going to clean up two twenty. I want everybody to be proud of the, the city and the streets and how clean the city is. Awesome. And is there anything I didn't ask you'd like to add? Uh, I don't know. Uh, well, I, I like to brag on the, the city council. They gave the uh, all the employees a 2% raise, which will start this week or this you know, be starting this month them too. They got a 2% raise and that'll help out. And uh, city council is working. We're working together. Me and, 
me and the county, city council, we, we work together. Uh, since I'm here talking to you too, the, uh, the president has already texted me twice asking me different questions on what we could do. All right, uh, the surge, the Drew's Breeze surge. It's going to be opening up pretty soon over here at the Bossier Mall, which that's going to open up and, and put, bring new life into the Bossier Mall. And then there should be a lot of things going on with that. And that's always something that um, parents of particularly younger children talk about. This is not something just for young children to do in the community. It's for people of all ages. Exactly. You can, you can play and eat and have fun, you know, and just give, take, you know, take a little break from the house and get away.